What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back for another Red Dead Redemption. I think we're going to try to progress a little bit more with the plot so we can get some of the things actually unlocked. So, let's go. Oh. See the grays. As Dutch wanted us to. Or do a little exploring. You okay? I don't know what I can do. Not now, Arthur. Okay. You want to sit, Arthur? Everything good? I guess. Always good to see you. Hi, Arthur. How good are you for that, I think so. Hey. Hey, okay. All good out here? I think so, but well, I don't know. I thought I heard something. That's uh, probably nothing. Okay. Blur. And it's out of trouble. Shoot first. Of course. I wonder what that could have been. Oh, wait, isn't this close to when Karen dies? If I'm not mistaken. Next time, I'll slit your throat myself. It's useless, that big sack of turd. I know that. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Well, you're the one that's walking into my horse's ass. You've done good, girl. Average. I'm still listening to your bull crap all day, every day. Everyone gets 
Southwest County, don't they? <coughs> well, since they're all dead. What the? Hell. Oh shit, he's hit again. You know what? I wonder what would happen if we actually started looking for the serial killer. Clearly, he is someone who is disturbed. I'm gonna look that up real quick. RDR2 serial killer. Just looking it up real quick. Clue number one. Wallace Station. Hmm. 
get the Wallace Station by fast travel? It's close to Valentine. Valentine it is. See, I found the bridge under by Valentine. Wait, there's a map? Some bitch. We're going hunting for a serial killer. I think that'll make this a lot more interesting. Apparently, he's leaving clues. Maybe we should take in a train. So there might be yeah, all right almost a wallace station probably pick up some supplies over here Good 
Good choice. Good business. Okay, then. Much obliged. Go on, take your time then. Fucking wolves. Ooh, it's almost done. It's working on a trailer for the new documentary my company is trying to release. Or at least get resources for. And it's almost done rendering. Might actually do a sneak peek up peek a peek on here. The time allows it. God damn stars are beautiful. Not a very good pelt, but gave us some supplies. Oh, it's done. Well, ladies and gents, I think we might do a little something special for you. I think we might Do a little preview. I was going to wait till tomorrow, at least. But we have a sneak peek for uh, those of you who like to watch me goof off and fulfill my addiction. So, let's see what we got going on here. Viewer discretion is advised. It's the first time seeing the finished product. Shots fired, 147 Maple Street. Requesting backup. Units, stand by.
parents naturally assumed that the boy must have been talking about a dream, only for suspicions to grow as they realized that no doors or windows were in fact. Well. Otis gone. <laughs> He's here at the house. He says someone brought him here. Fears grew when the boy's mother called the grandparents hysterical, thinking that her only child was kidnapped by an abusive father. Despite the constant questioning, the boy stuck with the story about his friends from the sky and suddenly took up an interest in outer space, saying he was going to find a way back up there. My wife in heaven visits me a lot. She even takes me to outer space sometimes. Yeah, Jesus. You are such a You were just like your father. father. Why don't you just quit? We all know you hate us. You suck anyway. You're not a man if you don't play football. You're just a big girl. As the child grew, strange events only became more prevalent. Some incidents escalated to near fatal encounters. Shoved in his mouth? Even bother. Even bother. My family hates me. No one even cares. The audio is singing a little loud away. Back to the game. Actually, you know what? Early intermission.
stop by the stable. the note. Oh. Poor bastard. To number three. Bottom of the ass, Scarlet Meadows. Where we were just fine. We'll head to Rhodes. About right here. We're going to hunt us a serial killer this episode. Damn, we're going to progress the plot. Rhodes is the closest one.
I don't want to see Dutch right now. I want to go find a serial killer. Welcome to Red Dead Redemption, CSI edition. CSI Redemption. Thank you very kindly. I will take your donations and make sure they are utilized in a proper fashion to help women and children. All right, close to the body. Come on, Arthur, be smart. We got to find this guy. Oh, that's an animal. Where's the fucking... It's on the tree? Six, thirty-four, thirty-two. Southwest Valentine. Lucky's camping. Well, shit, I could have done this backwards. Gonna do what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this motherfucker. We're 
going to give my rap. We're off to see a killer, the wonderful Rick, killer of band attack that I'm bad yet. Yeah, May he be do some hunting, sends her out here anyway. Oh, it's wide on the map. Which means there's sh definitely shit here. We're off to find the killer. Oh, that's the safety. That's the fucking lock. There's a body. Sorry, Arthur. Holy shit. Clearly, Edmondson having some issues and supposed to be medicated for this shit. And he's written to the media. Holy shit. Oh, you killer got us. <laughs> you come for me? Or was this old nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice. And fun, I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. At least, no one's found it nice so far. Maybe you'll be the first. <laughs> Do you like pain? 
We're gonna have to hit him just right, aren't we? Is it your friend? It's about to become your friend. We don't want to get him too cl quickly. I don't think. One. We got to make sure we hit him just right. I thought it was going to be like a situation where you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you come for me. I, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, what's this old nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. What? We're not supposed to kill him? Oh. <laughs> you come for me? Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. <laughs> talking now, There we go. Finally, the prompt was up.
Do we need prom here? Okay, I gotta save the game because this bitch. I know what you're looking at, Arthur. These bastards. They're gonna rough up a girl, but I ain't have it. She's got me. I'm gonna go to the body. Just dump in there with the pigs again. I don't want that last hour. Hey,
Hey, what's up? Pet again. Wow. Thanks for the follow, brother. Or sister. Thanks, 
See my man Tereos. There are fans near here. Told you we was moving up in this world. 
deputies. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers, good honest thieves like us, we're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Jared Bray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind bringing it out. Whoops. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. It's not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. But brought out a bad man. I do the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Wow, let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There it is. Dang straight, there it is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Of course, who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate it. That. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the road myself, but that's by the by. So. These moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their skills hidden all over the morning. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dollars. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold being spent for five dollars. Well, that's the rumor, but the Grays and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rider suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Whoa! So Whoa! Hold on. You see that way? You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one <laughs> on the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. 
I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. <coughs> Dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? A fair son. I'm just glad we got the fuck you all here to show us the ropes. <laughs> you want to take the ratings? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lamont State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they murdered this year alone. Yep. <coughs> I suspect it's my experience. Oh, and I know the brave plates are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Go right at the crossroads. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the breakfasts are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I would. Hey, right again to you. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the bracelets, I think. You can say that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we put in a lot of understood. Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin. And we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 708. Well, the way I said she went, come on, Frank, you decide. He doesn't have your fine way of words, but he's definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy. Generous tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out in a time of God. Deputy Williamson. Okay. We'll take the left. 
stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out in a time of death. Hey, Deputy Williamson. think that's it. Well, what do we do now? You better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives. Sure. Anyone but him. So, real funny, don't you? Tell me about it. That is the last time I mentioned it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans, of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a lot on the land. So stupid. A backwater. So backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Hell, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Can I fancy somewhere near camp, Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. It's all back there, Andrew. He there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That wasn't worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Jose written all over it. This is starting to sound like a young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're up. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. <laughs>
When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. You will. I had fun with you today. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. That we have, Ref. Have a fine time, sir. Okay. Don't like seeing you in a badge, Arthur. Even now, I missed you? Yes, unfortunately. All right. Lead to it. All right, then. Be better, Arthur. All that fire going out. Yeah. Going on, you know, this and that. Well, I'll leave you to whatever that is. Okay. Uh, this one's particularly, particularly idiotic about a Scottish lord and a princess who was raised as a peasant. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, come on, Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What do you want? I bring a gift. 
the great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge your eyes. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, you can go find some other fool to run your ass. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking Arthur's a little, little stick up I heard about. Oh, no. You just said, yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us, well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. That is never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy ticket. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, oh, smart Alex. Yeah. How do you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all the five minutes. Why, well, you boys been all fishing, playing law, man, whatever the hell you been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest garage house. Hey, you don't land on this Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. What is scope here exactly? Oh, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outliers just north of here, but the front wagon by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. <laughs> And I'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sake. I should be. Do it any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see each other? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tog, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know. <laughs> it doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit. Hey, they can say something. Oh, great. Let's go, partner. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, if you're going. All right. Get out of sack. Stay until dark. Then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Uh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, let's just keep this going. See what happens. Is this my place? Kind of. Uh, you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I, why don't you just tell me part of what you heard? What? Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I... There's a noise out by the barn a while ago. Ain't hey, me. That gun not me. All right. Group for it. Look, go check out the, the barn. Police looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Oh, 
Cornwall for a while. I know you want to go to Cornwall. I assume we're charcoal.
get all of you bastards. Thank <laughs> you. 
to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please.
the shot. Figured we killed him quick enough. Stay here, boy. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And 
A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift, but we don't even know each other. Ah, well, it's not from me, it's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> Bo, he is so... Strange. Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages. Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Of course. These are, are, they're something else. Have you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. I have nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, <coughs> Sure. You got my money? Sure. Did you give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? 
Sure. It'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take. Thank you, Arthur. Yo. Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's. This will get killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. Bring back the monarchy, given half a chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're going to... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You got to help. No, I'm afraid I don't want to no part I'll pay. My family We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. I'm gonna get going. Back up, all right. Follow me to Rose. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town! I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. What good as the cause is? I can't let her become a monitor to it. I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. You okay, boy? Damn. There they are. Oh, what are you doing here? I can't let you go through this. You'll be killed. I'm back for the cause, Bob. You know that. Do something, please. Now, what? Fight this month? We must begin. Leave me alive. This is not what they matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. But I'll beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Oh. Miss Calhoun here. Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, I'm Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a Protest march before, man. Well, just treat us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty play. <laughs> we have mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the nah, food man. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Beggar Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good. We need a house. We're all here, all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement?
please. This spot is fine, sir. Please. You ever speak to me like that? What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Don't help, Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You lend yourself some man. <coughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? You always go. Oh, or we just leave. Well, who the hell is this? Follow me. You're me? Come on. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, speak to me feel better. I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Did we just skip? Because I thought we beat the shit out of the cousins. Oh, well.
Oh, boy. Holed up in the swamps east of here. We think they war ain't never ended. A civil war? 
Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Dumbasses. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. They have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. <laughs> Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in, because how they told you, it's going to be something all right. We'll see. One more mission there at the front or sister mission, they will call it. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harassed me and Sadie. We were coming back with supplies. This is that. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But well, I got a notion <laughs> these fellas is one of the same. And we won't find no shortage of angry peckable idiots in the state of Lamar. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them. But I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Out west. Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Decent folks. Some places down here. It just did. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all you by my side. I guess it does. Hey, Miss Annie. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. Yeah, like you say, these crazies are shitting on weapons. You're going to want to strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They say find the old battlefield. Keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. And you can't play with the horses on the TV. Look at this Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. You're lucky you're cute. Yeah.
Hold those reins down. Let's just... Take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh... It doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us some notes. You see something of them? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. The whack. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind us. Let's be part of this. There's two feathers out on the road. Hey, that looks like dynamite in the back then. He could turn off at any time. Can we move up over? Yeah. I think I see something. Into the avenue, between the trees. Right. Be it. Yeah. My feet. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady there. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Have you seen anything? Yes. Yes. There you are. They're armed, almost a militia. Down by the road, we did well to drill them in one spot for one of my capacities. What else? You ain't seen anything worth shooting the ship? You look scared for me? I know down in my crates when I see. Got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit him head on, fight him on us. But we could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a point. Let's get the work. Gonna hit him head on. You said you play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine, I'm in. Waiting on you. Hey! You all be around!
get away. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Hey, this could be drought. What do you got? Come on. This is full of new apples. We can sell them, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Don't spare the net. You want me to run off? Don't spare the net. Come on. Come on. Yep. All in. Did I just run somebody over? Okay. Don't you be playing with my balls. These are fine. Right? I'm going to keep one. Just for me. Hey. I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey. You too. Hey.
ain't going to turn us in, are you? <laughs> you love them horses, don't you? Keep tweeting. Hi, Charlie. Arthur. I don't know how we got anything done before you do this. <laughs> See y'all. All right.